Hi all, welcome back to Vegwit channel. So today we will be discussing about the mange in animals. External parasites or the ectoparasites which will be harboring in the skin and the follicles cause a very huge loss in the animal husbandry sector. So we need to control those ectoparasites and we should keep their number in control. So we need to control and we need to know about the mangoes in animals. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell button for more updates. So mange is actually a contagious disease of animals which are caused by parasitic mites and in case of humans it's called as scabies. So the mites which will be causing mange in domestic animals usually belong to the genera like Sarcoptus, Sauroptus, Coreoptus, Notidrus, Sorigrates, Autodectus, Demodexus, Thalesiella and often the disease caused by them will be termed as Sarcoptic mange, Sauroptic mange, Coreoptic mange and the Demodeptic mange which are actually the Demodicosis. So these are the mites of different livestock species that in case of cattle it's mainly Sarcoptus KB, Demodex bovis, Coreoptus and Sauroptus. In case of the dogs and all, Demodex canis is very important. Autodectus cyanotis that is mainly found in the ear. Sarcoptus also in the skin. For pigs, Demodex phyloides is very important. And in case of dogs, Sarcoptus, Sauroptus, Sauroptus, Demodex, everything is present. So we should be very accurate whenever we are using a microscope to differentiate them. So the pathogenesis. In domestic animals, the Demodex mites are the part of normal fauna of the skin and they will be having an upper hand whenever the equilibrium is lost and they will be producing the Demodicosis. The Sarcoptus mites settle down on the epidermis and avoids areas which are more horny and having higher fat content. The Coreoptus and Autodectus feed on the sebaceous matter. So the Sauroptic mites which will not be burrowing the skin and they pierce the epidermis and suck the tissue fluid and lymph and induce a serous and hemorrhagic exudates. The demodex mite live between the hair and the root sheath for a long time causing damage to the adjacent tissue. That's why they are called in the latent phase having. Symptoms they will be having itching, intense scratching, rubbing, secondary traumatic lesions, dry scales like at all. But in case of dogs they will be developing small papules which will be initially developing and later converted into vesicles or pustules. Sometimes there will be brainy desquamation, formation of crust, thickening of the skin, irregular patches of alopecia, presence of intense pruritis, restlessness, scratching, rubbing and gnawing of the affected part. In gods, the sauroptic mange is also known as the ear mange. Diagnosis is actually mainly through the symptoms, uh, tentative diagnosis is always used, characteristic lesions, examination of skin swappings through the microscopic examination. So these are actually the mange in animals, bovine mange. You can see the regions, focal alopecia. So this is actually the Coreoptus and Sauroptus region. This is mainly uh, the region affected by those two external parasites. But in case of Demodex, bovis and Sarcoptus, they will be mainly affecting these regions. So these are in goats and this is the Demodex in dogs. So the main treatment is actually through the ectoparasiticides. So there are many compounds which will be working against the external parasites. Sometimes by paralyzing them or sometimes by killing them. Like comaphos, amitras, ivermectin, deltamethrin, cypermethrin, permethrin, vitamin B complex. Vitamin B complex actually is to uh, increase their power. That is the liver power will be increased so that proper uh, digestion and absorption of nutrients will be occurring there. So antibiotics is to control the secondary bacterial infection or the other bacterial infection which is mainly caused uh, by Staphylococcus in case of pastular dermatitis and podopastular demodicosis. Sometimes to control the intense pruritis and the itching we should give antihistamines. Thank you.